as he's yeah. more kind of like the setup creator and not the racer anymore. Oh, so from what I've heard, this will be interesting yeah, then. Will yeah. be interesting, yeah. So now uh, we are loading into the qualifying session, so we will see people going out on track anytime soon now. A hazy morning then in the United Arab Emirates. So the track temperature will not be particularly high, but uh, that will hopefully help them manage the time. I have 17 drivers are with us on track, uh, or will be on track. Jet Pistol, of course, being the uh, last entrance. He has gone for the plain white livery. And we have got some people coming out. Fab Iceman is first man out on track as he comes out in the uh, Team Tesbo livery car. There is Ashnoon. We have a whole stream of cars coming out now, as we can see. Uh, so that's the uh, one of the RAPR cars. Who else have we got? Steve G, one of the Panasonics. There is Puff Pirate. Both of the Sheriff Fitzer cars coming out on track at the same time. Night Tiger is out there as well. He's in the D-Box car, as you can see. Cataclypse in the second test for car. Cobra Snell in the second D-Box car is out on track. Manu, RSR's fearless leader in the Denverville car. And there is Elodie. Second chair of the car chasing his uh, teammate down the road. Unstoppable Paul in the Trex Energy car. The three cars have yet to come out. Battenberg is uh, just coming out now in the second Panasonic car. Sully Sausage is uh, not coming out yet. He's in the uh, he's also in the uh, plain white livery car along with Jet Pistol. They have not come out on track as yet. Oh, ooh, Puff Pirate uh, wanted to really rotate the guys. Really wanted to get on with it, getting the tail really to kick out there and I think Fab Iceman, yeah Fab Iceman is lead car on track so let us follow then a lap of Dubai GP on board with the Team Tesla car onto the start finish straight floors a DRS will be wide open the uh, speed of display doesn't really display it very accurately they don't they're not limited to when they use the DRS they can use it any time they like so you want to open that DRS as soon as you possibly can. Heavy on the brakes, down to third. Catches the apex quite nicely. You need to be careful, you don't wander off the road too much there at turn one. Through two, now round three. And then for the very technical section, five, six. This is such an awkward part there. You're trying to turn and brake at the same time for seven. Second gear, hard on the gas. Then over to the right hand side, ignore the apex for eight and catch the banked turn for nine as Jet Pistol now comes out on track. Just silly sausage to do so. Now the long straight DRS open as soon as they can do so. Heading down towards turn 10. Now we've got some impressive speeds coming down then very heavy braking zone. As they hit the 100 meter board, just, uh, just before the 50 meter board indeed. Full Fab Iceman, first gear. As he used the DRS to help rotate the car, that's actually quite brave. You've got to just be careful how much gas you give it on the exit of turn 10. Through 11 pretty easily. Then now again down to second. And 12, that is turn 12. Second gear again using the, using the DRS to help rotate the car. Very brave indeed from Fab Iceman. Flat out through 13. Over to the right hand side. Big heavy brakes. Oh, he had a big twitch there. I think he uh, opened the DRS a little earlier than the car was ready for. 14, 15 car getting very very lively with the DRS wide open through the corners over to the left it's so easy to throw the car throw a good lap away here he manages to keep it on track and what does Fab Iceman set it is a 132-102 yeah that lap looked actually very good but uh, interesting tactics there with the DRS open mm. at the exit of the corners to help rotate the car but I think we've already seen a few quite tricky corners that it's very awkward apexes where you have to go from the very outside to the inside. I think there is definitely a very good spot for uh, doing some dive maneuvers in the race, mm. get some positions. Yeah, so Pirate yeah. setting the new new pole time, 136.39, Tiger with 136.9 on the board. Jet, uh, Jet Pistol coming out again. He uh, came out and then jumped back in. But can we have a look where Project P is on track? That would be yeah, interesting. He is. Now. He's coming to the. That's yeah, the final turn. It is we'll indeed. see if he is already beating Puff Pirate at the first flying lap. Now coming to start finish line, which is very early, and he's two and a half tenths back. So, mm. point 
0.263 seconds off half parrot on the first outing. Now, interesting that, that Project PD opted to run two laps worth of fuel. They'll go through quite a few liters on this lap. Uh, uh, Perhaps Pirate only fueled enough for one, and Project PD is, as you can quite clearly see, really going for it again as he's catching one of the Tesla cars. Oh, that's uh, one two, is that catch a glimpse? It was. So catch a glimpse, currently 12th with 139, one jumps royally out of the way. And then allows Project PD to carry on his merry way. As he now streams on down that straight towards turn 10. But that's pretty much his, his strategy all the season, doing always two flying laps on his qualifying run. So it's probably he's just more comfortable with that. Mm. I mean, it, you know, you get in the banking lap in and then going straight away to the next next lap. You're already familiar with where the breaking points are. Absolutely. There's plenty of logic in that. Comes around turn 12. Tiny bit of a locker, but uh, nothing too major. He's also catching a bit of slipstream off of cars around him. But he is actually three tenths down from his previous best. So uh, I think he may well be backing off on this one. And there he goes. Yeah, so he made a mistake somewhere. Whether he was caught out by traffic, who knows. Night Tiger, oops, just coming around the final turn across the line. Does he improve? He does not. And he's uh, got five meters on board for another fastest lap. Uh, another fast lap, rather. So uh, he is on his way to do that. There is Puff Barrett coming around that last turn somebody with him I think they actually span and so another time lap then for Puff Pirate 5.7 meters on board he'll use most of that in this lap but he's got several cars ahead of him that he could well catch actually he's close to someone is he close to it's one of the unmarked. I think that's Paul no that the oh no big button Yes, it is. I beg your pardon. Yes, it is. I'm stopping all. <laughs> I thought it was one of the white cars. I do beg your pardon. Oh, that's uh, going to be a little awkward. If both these cars are on a time lap, they don't have to, to let each other go. But uh, it's, it's just one of, the, one of these awkward things where one person has to let, let the other go, but they only have another three minutes to get their uh, qualifying times in. And Silly Sausage didn't cho chose not to come out, interestingly. Oh, Elodie has uh, not managed to set a time, although he is out on track. And a Jet Pistol 2 hasn't, has yet to get a time on the board. Where's PD? He's out there as well. He's got 10 meters on board, so certainly enough for two rounds. Yeah, now he has definitely some clean air in front of him. But like the last time where he was yeah, catching a little bit of traffic, this time it looks very good if he isn't unfortunate that somebody is coming out of the pits right when he's on the start-finish straight. Mm. But currently it looks very good for him in terms of track, track positioning. Night Tiger has chosen to bring his car back in, so... Uh, oh, he's coming back out again. He'll have he'll have enough time with some in hand yeah. to to do an out lap. Jet, uh, Jet Pistol has got a banker lap in 142, but there's uh, more time out there to find. Silly Sausage, as we said, has chosen not to. Or if Puffy gets out soon, he'll be able to get another lap in he didn't improve still on what is one is 336 out he comes again where is pd last turn that's 15 so he's now coming down to the final turn what does he manage to do keeps it within the lines does he improve he's got two and a half tenths to find no he is now starting no again not no indeed so no improvement as yet He's just managed to beat that queue of cars coming out of the, out of the pits. I doubt they're going to have time to come around and actually beat the flag, though. Unless they absolutely floor it. Where is Puff Pirate? Of course, we are concentrating on this. Actually, Puff Pirate is behind Project PD on track. So I'm not sure, looking at when they came out to how much time was on the clock, I'm not convinced they're going to beat the flag. But we will see as the lap progresses. But they are, it, seems, it seems like already they are already battling in the qualifying, so I mean it's very important the two extra points mm. for, for the pole position. Oh, that was close. <laughs> yeah. That's oh, what it, that was a little bit wide through there. Yeah, but he's got enough time, just about enough time and enough fuel yeah. to do too, so that's what I think Project PD is going to do. He can't hang around too much. As one of the Sheriff of cars, that will be. Uh, that'll be yellow there. It was uh, jumping out of the way because Puff Pirate is there, literally a couple of cars down the road. 
He's got 30 seconds to beat the flag. I'm no. If he'll do it, it's going to be very, very tight. But I don't think he's going to quite manage it. Yeah, and I, I think, as you said, if he's managing it, then he's probably doing the Hamilton with one second left or so. But it should be enough for Project P, but Ooh. yeah, Puff Part is probably about five seconds behind. So Manu is in third, 136.7, so a fair effort. Oh, he did ma Oh no, he didn't manage it. That was Alade coming across the line. He's not going to do it. No, the oh. flag is out. Oh, no. Oh, no. He was about a second too slow. I did think he was cutting that a little bit too fine. That was mistyped, but yeah, we have now Manu in third place for a point four four two of a second behind. It's a very nice run on mm. this comeback. Yeah, absolutely. But also very nice to see Leipziger again very, very high up the ladder at P4. There yeah, was Night Tiger, the one at Spa, so uh, he's definitely got the pace in there. I mean, even he acknowledged it was a, a bit of a lucky win, but he had the pace to be right up at the front when he needed to be there. So anything yeah. is certainly possible. Steve has jumped back to the pits for, in sixth, 137.159. Still all out there to do. Project PD coming around up really slow. Turn 10. Streaming on down towards turn 12. Heavy on the brakes once again. He's coming to the end of sector two. We'll see if he is up on his previous best. Over the timing line now. Yes, he is. He is a, he is a tenth and a half up. He's not enough yet. Manu jumps back to the pits. He can do no more with a 136.778. He will start no higher than third. PD around 14 through 15. He's got another tenth to find. Let us see if he can do it. Streaming on down to 16. It's so easy to throw the lap away here, as I mentioned before. He keeps it. He's actually very cautious of anything else. Does he improve? He in time, but not in position. One thirty six five two one. The pole belongs to uh, Fabius. Man is uh, well. There you go. The pole belongs <laughs> to Puffy. So two extra points for Puff Pirate, which means he is now sixteen points down in the championship. Yeah, so Puff Pirate taking the pole then by just under two cents. Project PD2, Manu 3, Night Tiger 4, Fabasman 5, Steve G 6, Aladir 7, Battenberg 8, Unstoppable 9, Ash Noon 10, Stokeman 11. Didn't see uh, Stokeman do his lap. Cobra Snail 12, Catacombs 13, Towerman, Towerminator, uh, or Towerju as he's uh, otherwise known, in 14th. Gosco 15, Jet, our two uh, guest drivers, uh, Jet Piston and City Sausage at the back of the field. All, yeah, all eyes are going to be on the front. To see, interesting to see that uh, Silly Sausage didn't set the lap, but yeah, hmm. now the start is going to be crucial because we have a very, very, very long, long hmm. run to the first corner. So, and and very good start is very important here to get away good off the line. Yeah, they'll be doing something like 250 kilometers before they even go anywhere near the brake pedal so they will get any uh, and you do come down quite a fair way down to around third or fourth gear for that turn one it can go yeah. horribly horribly wrong and, uh, and, and, and to so, sorry to interrupt you guys to add we have we have a little bit of a downhill section before that turn so it's even harder finding the perfect braking spot because the track isn't helping you mm. going down there so it's it's kind of like a little bit uh, like turn turn four at, at Red Bull Ring. Not that extreme, but quite comparable. Of that, yeah, of that kind of ilk, yeah. So Project PD just has to play it safe. Puff Pirate will be hoping that Project PD falls to the back. Oh, crashes out indeed. It's uh, really going to have to rely on quite a bit of luck. But like we've already said, anything is possible. 14 laps in our sprint race. To start with, no mandatory pit stop, and now the drivers have confirmed themselves to be ready. Oh, that's a lot of bouncing going on. No take the tire. Here we go then. Three lines, wind them up, and let them go. A good start. Once again, Project Petey with a cracking start off the line. Oh, Manu gets the... Very defensive. Manu actually right behind Project PD. And um, both parties has lost a couple of positions. He's going to have to go around the outside. It's a win. Oh, what on earth? Oh, my God. Oh, wow. A, an impact. Oh, well, that's rather cool. An end to that one. Both Pirate launching up in the air. And on his roof, there is no recovering from that. Oh, wow. Just a, It wasn't even a heavy touch with Manu, but it just absolutely sent the Sheriff as a car skywards. 
Now Night Tiger, Fab Iceman fighting for third position. Project PD is off into the distance. Night Tiger is just slotted behind. Oh no, that's Elodie that's flown off the road. He's gone very, very wide, but has managed to keep the momentum going now. And look at that, that's a Jet Pistol that's got right up in the mixture. Bearing in mind that both of our white cars were at the tail of the field and he's opted for... Oh, wow, there's a big problem back there. There's Cobus now. Cobus now's in trouble. He needs retired. Cobus now is as already two gone. Oh, goodness me, what, a, what an incredible start. And that's Fabi's by nearly into the back of Manu. Coming through... A, completely lost track of where we are it's coming through turn 10 now streaming on down towards 13 oh, sorry turn 12 he's just gone through project pd already has nearly three seconds to himself now he's got nothing to worry about his main project uh, his main project his main uh, championship rival is not in the race anymore the steven night tiger having a battle there as well for fourth as night tiger runs slightly wide still lots of battling going on actually everybody down to 12th counterclips is in a battle of some description yeah, very, very chaotic lap one. Now, PD just has to win race and he's the champion. And he mm -hmm. has a very, yeah, very relaxed feature he's done in front of him, if he's going to make it. But, yeah, nice battling now we see between Fab Iceman and Manu. Now going through that, yeah, quite flowing first sector with the flowing turns, where it's pretty hard to pass. I'm running a little bit wide, sir. Yep, so did Iceman off of the exit of turn 7. Which, uh, again, very easy to do. You're wanting to get on the gas much earlier than the car is ready to do. So he ends up just forcing a little bit wide, but both, it, both cars did it. Night Tiger chasing the back of Steve G. The Panasonic car managed to get up into that fourth position on the previous lap. And look at that, that's battling. That's Battenberg and Ella did. It's the second Panasonic car battling the second sheriff it's a car oh, and Elliot uh, getting into the back of Battenberg as he's taken that sixth place into turn 10 right behind them is Unstopper Paul in eighth jet uh, jet pistol in ninth there is Stokeman in tenth position in the Vazmac car Ashton right behind him there's Cataclint in the Tesla car with Goscu in short succession behind Silly Sausage has fallen a little bit off the back of the field but as we've already seen anything can happen and Fab Iceman has managed to take that second place before they get through the turn, uh, turn 14 complex yeah it, it seems like Manu is really on the edge with running wide a lot of times again also coming out of the start finish straight again a little bit off the track it will be interesting if there might be some pro uh, some message by the race directors for track limits, a track limit warning. Mm. But yeah, he's definitely. I think he's definitely trying to regain that position, but yeah, it seems seems like Fab Iceman currently has a little bit of the edge. Yeah, it looks like it's uh, you, you. We were seeing last lap that really here, Fab Iceman just fell slightly away from Manu, and again you can see Manu did closing in a little bit in the Denverville. But it does look like Fab Iceman's possibly got a bit of a, uh, you know, a bit less front wing, uh, or a bit less of any wing, than Manu perhaps, which is allowing Iceman to do very well in the long, long straights. And they're just behind again, that's Steven Night Tiger there. That battle's not resolved either for fourth. Oh, and the Panasonic has gone very deep, it's going to allow the D-Box to get on the inside, side by side then, coming through to 11. And oh, Night Tiger having to go very wide still side by side. He's going to have a look at the inside of 12. He thinks about it. He has taken that inside line. He's a little bit hesitant to go for that apex. But he has managed to take it still side by side. Steve not letting that one go whatsoever. Now Steve's going to have the inside of 13. He's flat out anyway. It's not going to gain a great deal. But again, just enough to stay ahead. But still Night Tiger trying an outside maneuver through 14. There's too long a corner for that. And Night Tiger has to settle back in for fifth. I think he's trying it again for the final turn. We're again side by side and Night Tiger diving in. Is Oh and now Steve, Steve wanted to do the over under but it's, there was just no space on the inside. So Steve G now behind Night Tiger but with a lot of slip streams. so maybe there is a huge pull. Oh no there the straight wasn't long enough. Hey, now to... Steve G behind. Yeah, now, now, it's, now it's getting definitely difficult for him in that flowing section where you need a lot of downforce. Manu's still on the back of uh, Fab Iceman, so if 
if Fairbaisman has got less wing on that guy, he hasn't been able to break away from Manu. No, lap time's very, very similar. So now we're starting to see the sub 140s come onto the timing board. Manu runs slightly wide on the exit of turn nine in the Denverville. It's chasing Fairbaisman all the way down that straight. <coughs> You're able to see. <coughs> That's where if. <coughs> oh, goodness me, excuse me. <laughs> Oh, excuse me, I do beg your pardon. So, oops, and again, the Denverville running wide. If Fabius Man has got less wing on than the Denverville, then I would imagine Fabius Man should have broken away a bit during the straights. But of course, if Manu is running more wing, he's running in that slipstream, so he's not getting that, uh, he's not being hit so hard with the downforce where he doesn't need it. So, this, this battle could go on for quite some time, I think. Oh, there's a bit of a lock up there from Manu. Night Tiger has broken away. Oh, where has Steve? Oh, Steve's all the way down in 11th. Steve has made a mistake somewhere. And uh, he's now right the way down. He's got a number of cars to try and get through. Yeah, I fear he probably missed the braking coming into turn 10 after the second long straight. Because it went wrong, it looked still fine from his onboard where we saw it. Mm. But yeah, very unfortunate for Steve, he, had, he looked very good, although he always claims that he hates open wheel cars. <laughs> wow, that's, <laughs> okay, that, that's dedicated, being, being in a league when you're not uh, a fan of the category of car. Here we are again, Manu on the back of Fab Iceman. Oh, now Ice, uh, Fab Iceman opting for a, a wider entry through that uh, slight kink of turn eight. It's not really earning anything, Manu then. Of course, could both cars DRS over. Manu is gaining. You can see Iceman feeling the need to go for the defensive line coming towards turn 10. Manu thinking about trying to get even uh, more inside still, but can't do it. Oh, and uh, that's not what. Yeah, that's not what uh, Manu wanted. He was uh, thinking Fab Iceman would go a little bit quicker through the apex of 10, but uh, Fab Iceman parked that Tesbo car very nicely on that apex. Doesn't look like it's causing Manu too much trouble yet, but if he has got damage to the front, that is going. That will hurt later on. Yeah, definitely. I mean, you need a lot of wing on this track, but yeah, currently it doesn't seem like he did take any damage after that. Mm. He's still able to follow the Iceman very closely, but yeah, he definitely wanted to try to go for the all round there, but again, there was no room on the inside, so and additionally to that, I think he definitely was a little bit surprised by Fab Iceman not being that fast. Yeah, it was just mm. an unfortunate, but luckily with no damage, as it seems. No, indeed. Oh, Manu a little deep into turn one. That's going to cost him a little bit on Fab Iceman, but nothing too bad. But they are holding each other up. Night Tiger actually gained a second on them last time around. He's only 1.7 behind this pair, so this duo could become a trio in the next couple of laps if they carry on going. Whoa, hello. This... Vandenberg's in trouble. I was I was thinking people were swapping places. That is down at that's turn three. So it's gone horribly wrong for Vandenberg. He's staying very hard to the inside line. I'm assuming he's got damage on that Panasonic car. What a shame. He was running up in sixth or thereabouts. But uh, something has gone horribly wrong on that car. Yeah, again, quite bad luck for, for the Panasonic team. Both drivers running in very promising positions and yeah, doing mistakes and having problems. Very sad to see, but yeah, it's also kind of the story of that team for the season. Always, always having a few mistakes, a little bit of problems. Yeah, very sad to see. But yeah, that's racing. Now we have Manu losing a little bit of time. Yeah, a little bit, wow. but uh, Night Tiger is getting right in there as well. On, but wow, that, that's dedicated around <laughs> turn 14. You can see he is getting very, very close. He's only a second off the back of Manu now. So that is going to put a lot of pressure on Manu, on Manu to uh, try and get back on on track with uh, Fab Iceman. Yeah, he was 8 tenths slower than Fab Iceman. And Fab, uh, Night Tiger was actually quicker than Fab Iceman last time around. So... He really is doing well to catch up. You see he's right with Manu now. It's already now half a second. So maybe Manu did pick up a bit of damage with that slight impact on Fab Man. These cars are quite delicate. 
and it's now started to take us off. Fabasman finally breaks away from the Denverville car, and that's put Night Tiger straight on Manu's case. And, and yeah, that was predictable. Battenberg has made it back to the pits. It's always a shame when you need to pit in the sprint race, but uh, that has happened to Battenberg. On stop of Paul is uh, oh, taking a breaking board with him. He's on the back of Elodie. That's a battle for fifth position. Uh, along with Ashnim having a battle for the other Panasonic car, that's Steve, who fell down uh, quite a few positions early on, as we saw, but the, at the moment, the closest battle is this one. Yeah, Matt Tiger now catched Manu, so, so he was definitely capitalizing on, on the two Germans battling in front of him, and now he's right, yeah, right behind the exhaust pipe of Manu. Would be interesting if Manu is able to defend himself against Night Tiger, or if he's yeah maybe maybe suffering a little bit from being not used to the car anymore with that long break he has. It could be. And this is a very very demanding track. Oh, that's a little bit wide on the exit of turn 15 for Night Tiger. And again, and it also if, we, if he's got damage, if he's got any damage at all, it really does upset the balance of these things. So Manu could well be struggling with that car again at 140. For Man oh, Project PD actually uh, had a 140 as well, but he doesn't look like he's slow at all. He looks like he is seizing the opportunity to get a win without any close by competition at all. And uh, absolutely fair enough. Right, Tiger doing what he can to keep the pressure on Manu. He wants that th third podium spot. Oh, and that gets very, very close. Bank left hander of turn nine. That's what it looks like from Night Tiger's perspective. He hasn't managed to get the momentum he wants to start pressuring Manu just yet. Is he going to have a he had a think about it on the inside of ten? It's a little bit too far back for that. But again, he's closed right up. And he's, look how much tighter Night Tiger was to that apex than Manu was. Man, Manu again wandering a little bit wide there, coming through eleven. He's really struggled with that particular corner as well, to push as much as he would like. Another forming battle of a seam is here, is Jet Pistol on the back of Unstoppable. So Unstoppable's been chasing Elodie for a while, now Jet Stream, Jet, I keep wanting to say Jet Stream, it's not, it's Jet Pistol. He's been getting involved in that battle, so we're still, even uh, yeah, over halfway in this race, we're still finding battles throughout the field. Oh, both cars wandering a bit wide. Yeah, both cars running here right, and it seems like uh, Night Tiger has more mechanical grip in the, in the right corner, so maybe he set up this more towards, towards the slow corners to have good grip out there, but yeah, he's having a little bit of a look, but too far away. But yeah, definitely both drivers currently are on the edge, you can see always a little bit of mistakes here and there, running wide, a little bit of sliding. Yeah, absolutely, but uh, Night Tiger is not letting go on the back of Manu whatsoever. He is keeping that pressure on for all he can. Through it into the bank left hander of nine again. And this is, oh, and very wide off the exit of turn nine, which will happen in that dirty air effect. And that's just cost Night Tiger a great opportunity to throw on the inside of ten. So if Manu is sporting damage, he is handling it well. Jets, Jet Pistol is still hanging on within a round about a second. Unstopper Paul, that's the battle directly ahead of him. Unstopper Paul on Elodie, that's five, six, and seven in that shot. Oh, that's, uh, that's Stokeman, I think, getting uh, very sideways. It was indeed, that's Steve catching the back of him. That's battle potentially for eighth position. I think that's, ba yeah, that's Battenberg who is a lamp down. He uh, obviously won't be involved in that battle for position, but will uh, be there or thereabouts. Night Tiger is slightly falling off the back of Manu, but not enough for Manu to relax. But I'm keeping an interesting eye on this battle. Jet Pistol uh, lost a few tenths on Unstoppable last time around, but again, Unstoppable probably can't get the lines he wants because Elodie is going to be giving him the dirty air. So this is a great battle that could well see itself with the flag. Yeah, but we just saw LOD having a little bit of lock up going into the final corner, so yeah, it was last week, it was yeah, definitely very 
uh, oh, I don't know the English word now for it. <laughs> and you could definitely see that, especially the Sheriff Tizer cars were locking their brakes all the time. So probably they get very aggressive on the setup in terms of brakes. Mm. Which is, I think, very tricky on this car where you have a lot of braking sounds, in, in turn braking sounds, like the corner. But here it's a little bit easier with the bank corner. But yeah, Night Tiger currently a little bit too far away to get a perfect run. The lap, the lap before, I thought he might have run, it looked very good off of the corner, but then he was a bit too wide and lost a bit of momentum. Oh, Jan oh, Pistols lost. right with the unstoppable pull now. And Stokeman's actually fallen behind the pair of them, so Stokeman's made a mistake. He's actually two and a half seconds down the road behind this pair. So, uh, oh no, big one, it was Elodie here that was ahead of them. That's why I thought that Stokeman was ahead. Um, if Stokeman's been chased by Steve, I think Steve's made a mistake. He's fallen off the back of Stokeman. So Jet Pistol now getting the pressure on the green car, on the Trax Energy car of Unstoppable Paul. So now he's got some work to do to try and get away from. Oh, and Jet Pistol's gone deep there into 14. But he's looking to try and get a decent exit. Absolutely fine. Now through 15. He's going to be a little bit too far back this time. He wants a decent exit. Oh, and Stopper Paul looks quite hesitant coming into that final turn, but he's gone for a decent exit. And again, you see them basically following in line. Unstopper Paul follows Elodie, and Jet Pistol follows Unstopper Paul. So they come over to that right hand side very early. And they're just simply sick of the slipstream. But it's all Unstopper Paul a little bit, a little bit on edge coming through turn one. But Elodie has made a mistake. That's going to throw him back into the clutches. Arm oh, unstoppable, Jet Pistols along to the right as well. This battle is really shaping up well. Yeah, but very interesting to see Jet Pistol currently is killer on the brakes, especially in the 10. Mm. He always gains a lot of time, but now maybe he has the run. Yeah, very good exit of all three of them. Unstoppable Unstop now starting already the defensive games. Maybe yep. we'll see now. Jet Pistol going to the inside. Oh, he backs off. He backs off. Just making himself very, very visible in the mirrors. But uh, Unstoppable's got it all to do. And still, Night Tiger presses Manu. Oh, Manu taking a bit of a different line. Coming out of 12. Streaming on down through 13. Night Tiger is now very, very close. Which is about two tenths. Or nearly within two tenths of a second on the Denverville car. Now coming through 14 once again. This is going to be a good opportunity for Night Tiger if we can get a good run, but again, it's, it seems a little bit weaker than, than Manu. Manu just getting the traction he needs at the time to defend against that D-Box car. Oh, Night Tiger lost the tail, and he had to completely back out of that, and that's lost him all that momentum on, on Manu. He's going to have to chase him down all over again. He's only got three laps left to do it. Yeah, only three more laps. But yeah, now Jet Pistol. Seems like he lost a lot again a little bit of time, but it might also just seem like that because the cars are a bit more spread on the straight. But I think we might see again a bit of battling between Stokemon and Steve. Mm -hmm. Steve was able to catch up again to Stokemon, so we will see them two also battling in the last few laps, hopefully. They are now in lap 12 of 14, Project PD leading extremely comfortably with nearly 19 seconds yeah. of a gap to Fab Iceman, second place. Yeah, Fab Iceman is the, it's kind of seems, it was also the case last season, towards the end of the season, Fab Iceman is getting extremely strong, and we have Night Tag again right at the back of Manu. Yeah, that didn't take him long so, to close that gap back down. Yeah, but it's, it's nice to see, so we get a bit of battling again for the final podium position. Mm. Yeah, and again, he's had a decent exit out of turn 12. Both of them have. And once again, it's just about two tenths of the point of breaking between the two. And it's here that uh, Manny just gets the traction he needs to just build up enough gap, but it's not as much as it was last lap. So is Night Tiger going to have an opportunity coming into turn one? Through 16 they come. Keeps it nice and steady. Again, Manu just getting enough momentum. Jumps over to the right hand side to try and break the toe, but his uh, Night Tiger's not having any of that. Closes in. Just about managed to slow it down enough. And on that battle continues.
Oh, one stop a ball and Jets. Jet, uh, yeah, I still want to say Jet Stream. Jet Pistol <laughs> side by side coming through turn one. And unstoppable hands finally succumb to the pressure from the white car. is demoted to seventh. Now you can see just behind them Stokeman and Steve having their battle on the penultimate lap. Stokeman's got, a, got it all to do to try and keep that pass on the car behind him. Goscu further down. He's got a battle for 11th with Ashton, who in himself has got a battle for 10th with Catch a Glimpse. Oh, and we have a car off, Oh! Oh, whoever it was disappeared very quickly. And uh, no non stop of all. Night Tiger and uh, Manu having their battle. Oh, that's close. Uh, yeah, whoever that was disappeared very quickly. Um, it was Battenberg, unfortunately. Well, sad, sad to see, but. Uh, he was yeah, a lap down, unfortunately. Bad, bad race going worse, but. Was that attack maybe all too early from Night Tiger? He lost again a little bit of, of, of space, but yeah, it seems like he's able to catch him again. But maybe that, that attack was a lap too early and he's not able to, to catch up again. He's only but got one lap left. All one lap and a mistake! Yeah, again, the tail just not wanting to stick. He just uh, had to really get out of it. He's got over a second again and only this lap to do it. Unstoppable is losing the back of Jet Pistol, as you can see, but look at that. That's Stokeman having to defend. Stokeman's had a pretty bad run off of turn 16. Surely it's going to be an easy pass for Steve. Oh, goodness me, Stokeman nailed to the inside of turn one. Is he able to defend? He's gone very deep. Can that Steve get the switch back? No, brilliant defending there by Stokeman. He just positioned his car brilliantly to keep the momentum up enough. But defended the apex from that charging Panasonic car. That was very nicely done. He still got the whole lap to which to keep Steve behind. Oh, he was going to. Oh, and again, very close coming out of turn seven, but not quite there. Panasonic car of CG now. I think an outside maneuver on turn nine gets slightly twitchy coming off of that. Has he got the momentum from Stoke when he's getting in the slipstream? Can he now do something about it? Stokeman again staying nailed to that inside line. It looks like Steve Ting may have actually topped out before they get to the braking zone. And that's for it. Oh, Steve Ting! Lovely switch back there, but can he get it out? Oh, that's still side by side. Stokeman then. And Steve G's managed to get it done before the braking zone. Stokeman still hanging on to the outside. And finally, Steve G gets through. Project PD, where's Project PD gone? I have no idea. He must have crossed the line. He came up as in the pits. Yeah, I, th I think it was the... the, the no, the race complete sign wasn't up. Project PD is actually retired without finishing the race. What? Manu what? has just beaten Night Tiger to third. What, uh, what the actual beat um, is happening here? Yeah, I th don't know what happened there. Jet see, everybody's promoted one. Unstoppable has now come across. Oh, and Steve did actually manage to beat Stokeman over the line for seventh. Catch a glimpse. There he is. He's going to claim ninth. But yeah, Project PD is not on that list. He disappeared from the server before the race complete notice was given. So, either way, we are seeing severe bugs again. Or. Yeah. Project I PD is that much of a gentleman that he retired. <laughs> the race just to let the championship battle continue oh Goscu is uh, missing a front that's uh, why he jumped there we go he's missing a fair chunk of the front wing Stop but this it. is going to be our completed there we go look he's not in there project pd is listed as retired, retired. on lap 13 but he still has the fastest lap around so he gets two extra points but what the... but puff pirate had what? the pole so yeah, so it's actually stays the same. Yes, so he's st so he still has to finish fifteenth, I think it is. So so we def we def oh four. It seems like he didn't want. We have to talk to PD now. Yes, <laughs> we've got to. So we've Fab Iceman. I mean, I mean, we we are confused. <laughs> Fab Iceman is is the official winner of this race. Manu two, Nine Tiger three, Elodie four. Great effort for him. Jet Pistol five. Unstoppable 6, Steve D7, Stokeman 8, Catechlims 9, Ashton rounds out the top 10, City Sausage 11, Goscu 12 are our classified finishes. We lost Project PD, Battenberg, Cobra Snell and Puff Rory we lost on the opening lap. And yeah, we have got to talk to Project PD. 
What yeah, on earth happened there? Yeah, it is already in there? here. So, hello, Project PD. I hope you are there. Please answer. Yeah, what? Yeah. <laughs> what happened there? Yeah, I mean, uh, Puffy and I are very respectful to each other, and uh, I don't want to win like that. Uh -huh. Aha! Oh, we did wonder uh, whether whether it was whether that was the, the the aim you were going for to to keep the championship battle alive. I mean, I, I don't know if you saw the accident that that Puffy had, but it was pretty dramatic. Yeah, I, I saw it in my mirrors, and I I can't believe it when I saw that. I mean, his car flies in the mm. air like. 10 meters? 20 meters? <laughs> something and, like that. <laughs> something like that. Um, I saw him shortly in my mirrors and then he was away. Um, yeah, and I, I was really thinking of the whole ways. Should I retire? Shouldn't I retire? On the one hand side, I thought, um, yeah, uh, a championship work to me tastes very good. On the other hand, I, I know that um, I, I want to retire because... That wasn't just, just like I want to fight with Puffy, and they, if if I throw away the championship with that, it it is the case. It's it's okay for me. Very honourable of you, but I mean, we didn't really see a lot of you because because after Puff Pirate had uh, had his dramatic incident, you kind of ran off, so we didn't see a lot of you. So hopefully, we look forward to an amazing battle for the final race. I hope so. I will yeah, enjoy it's... that. And let alone for that spo uh, sportsmanship, you have to yeah. the title. Either Absolutely. It doesn't matter how it ends tonight. I mean, you should get a medal for that. No, 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 no. <laughs> if I'm a second, I will call myself the every second. I said that. I want to win the last race. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. Thanks for talking to us, PD, and good luck for the final race. Thank you, guys. So, but wow. now it's time to talk to the actual winner, Fab Iceman. <laughs> yes. There he is. Bye bye, man. Are you with us? Hello, hello. Yeah. Hello. Well, you won. Yeah, amazing, right? <laughs> <laughs> Unbelievable. So, how you you had a lot of fighting to do in that race? How was that one for you? It was exciting. I was enjoying it a lot. Um, it was tough. It was rough, but it is it somehow was. Uh, lucky enough to get um, a head out of Manu. Yeah, you looked like you had a lot of work to do to to manage that. Yeah, it's crazy. Like you practice with the car on a on an empty track and you feel comfortable and everything, and then you go into the race and you drive behind someone and it's like you lose half of your grip instantly during a high speed corner. It's really dangerous. It's uh, it's such a struggle to drive behind someone and you need to compromise a lot of your speed you need to think ahead and yeah everyone has the same uh, problem but it's uh, exciting I would say it was great for us <laughs> we were just yeah. it, it was a brilliant spectacle for us but uh, I mean did you think you, you had any chance of catching uh, Project PD once you'd gotten clear of money? Oh, no, not at all. Um, I mean, Puffy and ProGTP were quite far ahead in the qualifying already. And I I don't know, I don't feel that comfortable on the track. Like, I feel driving-wise, I feel comfortable. Lap time-wise, I do not. And PD is just uh, too good at the moment to catch. And I had uh, rear-wing damage as well. I had a little bit of contact with Manu. Oh, right. Oh, we did see that, but we weren't certain whether... We we were wondering whether that was going to cause Manu damage, but that you you how much damage did that cause you? Uh, I was four at the rear, but I, I'm pretty sure it, it caused damage to Manu's front wing as well, and uh, damage at the front is way worse than at the rear. Yeah. You need your so, yeah. your Ferrari GT3, then then you'd be fine. <laughs> yeah, maybe. <laughs> well, good luck for race two. We'll see you on the other side. Yeah, thank you. You too. Oh yes, we're looking forward to it, alright. So that was Fab Iceman. The question is now, do we get Manu in here? I see he is currently talking to Puff Pirate. I'm not sure if he's probably apologizing for what happens in <laughs> turn one. So maybe maybe we'll talk to P3 before. To Night Tiger. There he is. Hello. Night Tiger. How Hi. did you um yeah, that was eventful for you. Podium spot. Yeah, it's, yeah, surprisingly, 
Uh, yeah, it was a terrible beginning of the race at proper start, but the track was really slidey. Couldn't get it, really get it going. Um, then Steve G passed me. Well, I passed him. Then I got a bit in the groove, and Manu and Fab Eisman were fighting in front of me. But then Fab Eisman pulled away, and I could close up to Manu. Um, but didn't really figure out how to overtake him in the end. Uh, I was a lot quicker because uh, two times I made a mistake in the last corner and then I was a second a bit more behind, but I would close up that pretty fast. But uh, it's part of racing, trying to figure out uh, how to pass someone. You don't, you just, uh, you not only have to be quicker. <laughs> <laughs> yep, absolutely, absolutely. Um, sometimes it's right place and right time, as, as rather you experienced at Spa. Yeah. <laughs> yes. I mean, do, yeah. do you do you expect the the, the car, the track, to feel any different uh, with the feature race being that much later in the day? Um, yeah, because when you race the feature race, the uh, temperatures will drop quite significantly. I think ten or fifty degrees on the track, so your wheels oh, will wow. stop overheating uh, in the second stint. So that will probably give you some better battles because right now it's just like Formula 1, you're in a dirty area over sliding, overheating the tyres and that will be way less in the second race I think so looking forward to ah. that one Awesome, as are we, yes so good luck for that <laughs> and uh, hopefully we'll, we'll uh, catch you on the other side no, great. Thanks man Awesome stuff And we have now Manu going back so we should get a quick word with him There he is Hello, hello. Hello, hello. Well, P2. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, you, you, you had a lot of work to do in that race. Do we need really to talk? <laughs> Can I just go <laughs> down again? Well, you did, you've done it once. There's Whoa. always a chance to do it again. I don't know. Like, uh, I just spoke to Puffy no clue what happened turn one like uh, i don't know th i think i missed a little bit the apex but i thought he's already through and then like for me there was no contact and i d didn't have any damage after after he like catapulted into space yeah that, that that was but, um, um yeah that, that really was quite the launch but Na nasa you know, needs to take a few tips from you yeah, I don't, I don't know. I don't know how it looked in the stream, but uh, yeah, I don't know. Dramatic is the word uh, is the word I use. I mean, I had a really good start, but uh, I thought like, okay, give them like two, three corners, and they are gone anyway. Did you have any? Uh, we did see there was a little bit of a tap between you and Fab Iceman. Was there was there any damage to your nose yes. after that? Yeah, yeah, at, uh, nine percent uh, from the arrow damage, and then. Uh, I couldn't follow him, and then there was Night Tiger. He was like attacking and attacking and attacking, and I think the only thing that saved me really was uh, having like a better drive out of the the corner to the straights, mm. which which gave me like enough space or like a big enough gap to to escape his attacks. But uh, was was really close. Like also with Fab Eisen was really close. I think mm. we we're quite on the same pace. But yeah, I don't know. Like, so, so the the contact with with Puff Pirate turning his car into a space shuttle didn't cause you any ta damage, but the merest tap on Fab Iceman's backside, and and you get nine percent. Yeah, it's. I don't know. I mean, I, I don't want to blame it on, uh, um, on a complete desync, or any lag. I mean, obviously, I, I missed uh, a little bit the apex because I had like a really good start, and, and could challenge Puffy uh, straight away. Um, but I don't know. I think. Just a little bit the apex, and then, uh, yeah, could have given more room. Didn't do that. that and whatever is, happened. Um, that's the way it goes, but let's hope for better fortunes in the second race. Yeah, <laughs> I'm really optimistic now for race two, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but well, I don't know, like, great sportsmanship from PD that he retired. Mm. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. It's, that it's caught not, us completely by surprise. I mean, it's it's still... I think it's quite hard. I mean, I, I talked to Puffy immediately after the race. I think he needs to get the quali, he needs the fastest lap, and he needs to win, and PD needs to be third. But uh, this, I guess it's still really hard because I'm not seeing anyone challenging those two pace-wise. So. We, sh we can, but say, well, if if, um, if Project PD fancies a shot of the space program, then you never know. You know he may go Puff Pirate's way. 
<laughs> I don't know, but I don't want to give him another lounge. <laughs> <laughs> well, good yeah. luck, Manu, and we'll see you on the other side. Yeah, thanks, guys. All right, so we're just waiting for our drivers to come back from whatever break they uh, yeah. whatever break they need, and we'll get I this think, underway. I think that's also a good chance for us to take a short break to get yeah maybe snacks, drinking, <laughs> because that was quite an exhausting task the first race. So yeah. we will be back in about two minutes with race two. So see you there. So, we are quickly muted. I will quickly get myself a snack and a drink, and yes. then I'm right back. Same here, bear back. I'm back. going out of the track with one and a half minutes into the qualifying session so everybody's still on his outlap lap is still in the pits like yeah like in first qualifying session but now after the incredible scene of project pd retire retiring from the sprint race and the dominant lead keep the championship wide open yeah puffer still has a shot so if puffy has perfect race with pole position, pole position fastest lap and the race win. Project PD needs to be fifth or better to keep the championship. Though if PD finishes lower than fifth, Huffy is our champion and would be the first three-time champion of this series. Sorry, I am back. <laughs> Welcome back, Kodiak. We are already live again. Yes, so we see, so we see. So everybody out on track this time. We 
Oh, this is added to jump back in pits. Let us see then where R2. I think I, I just came in just as you were doing the maths there. So Project PD needs to finish where? He needs to finish fifth if he has the perfect race. I mean, oh, I can quickly. That's a that is a, a tall order. Open the spreadsheet again. So uh, if Puffy takes 44 points. PD needs 26 points, which event P5. Then if Puffy takes 42 points, PD needs 24 points, which is sick. And if Puffy only takes 40 points, PD needs 22 points, which equals 7th. Wow. That's, that is quite a tall order. But we will see. Puffy managed the pole last time. And we saw what happened to him. So, anything can happen, I think. Absolutely, you know, huge respect for Project PD for for, for doing that. You know, he, the win was his, and by, his by right as well. It was not his own, not anything to do with him that uh, that had, there was anything to do with uh, Puffy's problem. But he still opted to retire to take the championship down to the wire. And of course, it's given him a much steeper hill to climb. Now the times are coming in. Steve on the pole spot, 132, uh, 1372. Manu, 137.4. He's got enough fuel on board for another one. Night Tiger, third, 137.4 as well. Fat Ice Man, 137.5. Oh, a bit of a uh, small collection of cars there. Catacliff, 138.7. So a bit of time for him to find. But he's got one of the D Box cars ahead of him. There's Stokeman in that sixth position, 138.9. And there it is, 136.8 for Project PD. So, well and truly on the top spot. And but very strong, the, the Panasonic car is currently in uh, second and third. Yeah, no, that good, is yeah. very nice to see after the horrible sprint race. Great effort from Battenberg. He's only uh, 12 thousands off the back of Steve. Absolutely great effort there, putting Manu and indeed everybody else down to fourth and below. Actually, Puff Pirate has yet to get a time on the board. So he's just coming around the last corner to start his time lap. Less than five minutes to go in the final qualifying session of this season. It is all on Puff Pirate's shoulders to, to achieve. He'll need some luck, but fifth is certainly far more attainable than then there was a 13th that he needed to achieve in the last race. So we will see what happens. Stokeman's actually close to somebody. It's a bang effort. Is that catch and start ahead? It is. Or next to each other on track and, in, and on the timing board as well. Jet Pistol gets a time on the board. 138-1 in 7th place. Keeping an eye on, very much on Puff Pirate at the moment. Only Puff Pirate, Cobra Snell and Elodie without a time. Four minutes to go. Stokeman and Cobra Snell and Unstopper Paul has just jumped back to the pit. So has Steve from second. So four tenths between a second, uh, between first and second at the moment. And around turn 12 for Puff Pirate. He's as light as he dare run on his first time lap. And he would have time to complete this one, jump back to the pits and do another one if he so felt like it. Oh, wow, he is really pushing hard. Down to the last turn. If anyone can do it, it is Puff Barry. He did it last time. Can he do it again? He crosses the line and he does 135 952. That was a statement. I mean, uh, <laughs> kill, kill, killing the brake counts. And and selling the fastest lap, I mean he was on a stellar push there, but we also have Project B currently breaking for turn 10. I think he's also again on a... Oh wow. I'm not sure if he's on a flying lap, but that looked a little bit... <laughs> looked very yeah, squeaky. Yeah, the throttle with a little yeah. different slide up there. That was determined, coming out of uh, turn 10. So he's coming to the end of sector 2. He is on a time lap, but he's two turns down on his best. Nine tenths to find to usurp Puff Pirate. 
That's wow, that is such an amazing turn of pace. Oh, what might have been for Puffy had he not had that uh, huge accident with Manu in the opening stages of the last race. Kobersnell looks like he's opting not to set the time, he's still in the pit as a project PD cross the line does not improve but has the fuel to complete this lap. Yeah, Cobra Snell in the D-Box car is opting not to run. For some reason, Night Tiger and Steve have jumped back to the pits. Sunny Sausage is just coming out. 140.0 for him at the moment. Fab Iceman is out there in the Tesbo car, coming through six into seven. He's uh, pressing on, looks like he's on a bit of a time lap. Nine laps of fuel, so he looks like he's running at four. Two, anyone that isn't on track now is not. So, Night Tiger's not going to make it. Steve has not moved. Ash has not moved. And Cobra Snail's not moved. So, they will not be able to set another lap. One and a half minutes to go. Puff Pirate is pressing on. He's uh, on an out lap at the moment, but will have time to complete it. That's uh, one of the Tesbo, tar Tesbo cars getting very much out of the way coming through turn 10. Let's see when Project PD crosses the timing line at the end of Sector 2. If he is up on his time, he will beat the flag. Battenberg jumps back up to fourth with a 137.1. He's actually a tenth down, is uh, Project PD. Great effort there by Battenberg. Jump up to fourth. Steve's down to sixth, and of course, he, he's in the pits and will not be able to improve. So P, uh, Puff Pirate now on a time lap. Less than a minute to go. Manu is down to seventh. But he is on a time lap, no one around him. So he will have an opportunity to have a lot of clean air and to be able to improve. Puff Pirate's coming around turn seven and PD has come over the line and does not have enough fuel to complete the lap. Uh, at least I don't think he will. He's better gone anyway. So what yeah, he's that... probably just doing a little bit of practice the first sector, maybe. May as well. He will not, uh, there's no way a liter will last. Oh, Puffy aborted. Oh, he Puffy did. Puffy aborted his lap. Oh, and that's off anyway for Project PD. So by nearly a second, Puff Pirate will be on pole unless whoever is still on track can usurp him. The checker flag is out. Fab Iceman coming around turn nine. He's in third, 137-0. Battenberg, great effort from him coming through turn eight. 137-118. Currently fourth, Manu is out there. He's coming into turn 10. 137, 418, currently seventh. In the Denverville, a couple of people coming over the line at the moment. Manu is up by three tenths. That will move him up a few positions. A good move into around about fourth, there or thereabouts. Especially if we can find a bit more time. Through 15, over the crest, towards 16. Keep it within the lines. Oh no, it he doesn't do. A shame, which invalidated that lap. And that is job done. Fab Iceman is still on track. He's coming up to that same position. Can you keep it within lines? He does. 137070. Oh, he's actually deep throw Project BD. 136808 by five hundredths of a second. He has jumped ahead of PD. Eladir crosses the line. He improves to second as well. 136.7. He is... Not, not, wow. Not getting dangerous for Project D because now he is getting into that danger zone around... Yeah, from P5 to mm. yeah, P14, 15 is kind of the danger zone in the first few corners. And Jet, I don't think, improved. So Puff Pirate again taking the pole spot by eight tenths from Eladir. So both the Sheriff of Cars are locking out the front row. Fab Iceman 3, Project PD 4, Battenberg 5, Night Tiger 6, Steve D7, Manu down in 8th with uh, Jet Pistol 9, Unstoppable 10, Ash Nim 11, Tau in 12th, Gokyu 13, Catalin 14, Stokeman 15, Silly Sausage 16, and Cobra Snell not sitting in lap. We'll start from the tail of the field. Wow, look at that! But it would be interesting now to be in his head. I mean, is he already regretting his great sportsmanship? He could well be, and that will play on his mind as well. Uh, yeah, exactly as you say, that puts uh, PD in a very dangerous spot. I mean, but PD has been so incredible on his start. 
So it'll be Night yeah. Tiger's got to look at that. The, the, what better ringside seat than from sixth place Night Tiger for the ensuing battle? <laughs> wow. I think we, we're definitely going to have to watch from uh, watch the start from PD's perspective. Yeah, most definitely. I mean, he had a yeah a rocket ship start in the first race, and I mean, if we, if we if we would be in motocross, I think PD would have taken the whole shot all the races this season. <laughs> I think he's only had a bad start once, pretty much once, all season as PD. Every single start has been incredible off the line. Yeah, he's 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 a monster on starts, but now people left the grid. The lights are turning red any second now. For the final Here time in go. this season, wind them up and let them go. Oh, that was very quick, but he had to bail, so he didn't jump the start. That's going to put... Project PD and uh, all kinds of pressure, but Puff Pirate actually is under pressure from, I think that's Fab Iceman on the outside, Project PD looking on the inside, he gets cut off by Elodie, and that is Night Tiger on his outside, but doesn't make that particular move stick, and look at that, that's Fab Iceman has jumped up to second ahead of Elodie, no, oh, Project PD says so the big moment, oh my goodness, that was, oh wow, that was such a huge moment there, and that has actually put him down to that, Crucial fifth from man who's jumped up a couple of positions as well. Wow, that's Steve that's had a huge moment, he's taken a couple of breaking balls with him, but has managed to keep going. Battenberg on the inside of him, he's had a bad start down there in eighth place. But look at that, Puff Pirate is gone. Enadir is in third place, Fab Iceman and Project PD. Look at that, that's Project PD and Knights and uh, Night Tiger side by side. Can't really see from that angle. Night Tiger still gonna hang on to the inside line. And now Night Tiger's had a good drive from from turn 10, gets up to fourth place. And wow, Night Tiger threw himself right into the clutches of Manu as well. Oh, well, that's very, very close to the Temperville. Now coming through 12. Oh, Project PD's got it all to do. He's got some very fast drivers ahead of him. Yeah, and I just hope Project PD has a good contract with his diaper sponsor because that was a <laughs> massive code for him in turn two there. But yeah, cur currently everything is fine for him being in P4, but he has to stay there and fend off Knight Tiger and Manu that are very racing behind him. Mm. And Manu actually passed Knight Tiger, but maybe he has to give the position back because he was running very wide right there. It was a little bit, but the... Uh, oh, Unstopper Paul's in! We've had a problem early on. Unstopper Paul. Yeah, that car is not quite straight, so he's had to come in already. Oh, it doesn't look quite straight to me. But Puff Pirate, nearly two seconds to the good over Fab Iceman. Elodie is third and still chasing. There is Project PD. Oh, and there's Manu running very, very wide. He has lost that fifth race to Night Tiger. He's got uh, that's Jet right with him. Jet Pistol in the unmarked car is highly pressure on Manu once again. Right there you saw Vandenberg and Ashton having a battle. That's Kataglitz behind him as well. Gosko is in a short... It is right behind them as well. There is Towers Stokeman. That is 12th and 13th. Cobra Snell and City Sausage are in short. In, uh, pretty much in short supply as well. They're pretty close together. Oh, that was Elodie right with Fab Iceman. That was very, very close coming out of turn 10. But uh, yeah, whilst these guys are battling, that is actually basically holding up Project PD. But even if he finishes here, Project PD will still take it. But there's still, we're only on lap 2 of 27. Yeah, only lap 2 of 27 and now will be interesting Project PD attacking them or is he trying to pass them via the strategy, so maybe doing under or overcut. But currently I think he is able to camp today and Night Tiger, so probably the best thing will be if they aren't too slow in front of him that he just stays behind them. Oh, Night Tiger's made a mistake, man, he's gone past us, Jet. Jet Pistol going past as well, still side by side coming out of the last turn. So somewhere Night Tiger has made a mistake. The uh, plain white car has got past and still side by side. Battenberg is right there as well to get involved in that battle if it all comes to it. Jet Pistol just manages to turn in before the D-Boss car can get any traction. So that is Jet Pistol up to sick. Can he hold off at Night Tiger? But of course Night Tiger's got Battenberg in very short succession. Cobra Snell is in, so he may oh, well have had trouble. Car looks very used. Yes, that's uh, missing quite a few important parts, of, I think. Yep, yeah, that's uh, missing an entire nose. 
And uh, that'll be why City Sausage is right in as well. So they've had a, a bit of a tangle at the back of the field. Jumping up to the front though. That's the view from uh, Project PD. It doesn't look like he's had an impact with anybody. So I don't think he's supporting any damage. But he may well just opt to just bring the car home. He is four seconds ahead of Mano at the moment for that all crucial fifth position. Nanodi is still feeling the need to defend from Project PD. And absolutely fair enough. All oh, these sheriff is a guy getting very tail happy coming out of turn 12. Project PD trying to get a bit of slipstream there with the DRS wide open. And LLD really defending very hard. He's going to go for an outside move. He's going to have to really work hard to slow that one down. LLD is right there. Project PD is actually managed to work his way past or has he? LLD, ooh, and that was close to impact between LLD and Project PD. Now into that last turn. And Project PD has made it stick. He is out to third. Around the outside, very impressive move, but a little bit of wheel banging there, so again, a little bit of scary moment. But LOD or not, trying for the counter attack. I is faking it to the left, now going to the right. Oh, oh man. I, I mean, definitely, def definitely have to charge, to charge uh, 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 Project PD that that, because we now need with him going completely crazy. And Ooh. yeah, shocking us all the time. That was um, that was probably a bit, quite a bit closer than Project PD with a light. Yeah, probably. And that's not Manny that we can see just behind. That I think is oh, it's starting behind. I think it's Cobus now. It is indeed. It's the second D-Box car. Oh, Cobus now. He's uh, had to come in early for damage to that car. And look at that, Project PD. He's really starting to press on. He's not relying. Oh, and the tail getting a little bit twitchy on the back of his car he's not relying on the fact that uh, he only needs to finish fifth he still wants to press on he still wants the challenge again he said it himself he still wants to win the race he's got plenty of time to close the gap down but of course the more he battles the more time he loses he's around about six and a half seconds behind puff power already so he's still gonna have a lot of work to do and that will be silly sausage to jump off course to get out of the way absolutely fair enough he was a little slower through 14, but staying right with Fab Ice Man. Yeah, it seems like he's definitely not relaxing and trying to do everything he can. I mean, half part will be yeah, very challenged to get there, but I mean, second place is still, yeah. yeah it's still still, he it. still has the shot for it. Battenberg on the back of Night Tiger, that's a battle for seventh between the D-Box and Panasonic cars. A three-way battle here. Scatterglint, Gosker and Stokeman. The Tespo, the Renault Sport and the Vasmac cars. So oh, still... Oh, and Project P is by. So we missed the overtake. Uh, we unfortunately. Have, unfortunately, yes. So he's actually done that around about turn six to seven. So he's had, he's dived on the inside of the uh, Tespo car and one of in turn seven, which is... Very, very impressive. Oh, is there a problem for Gosku? Yes, there is. He's suddenly fallen down the order. He's now down in 12th. He's got Taoji right with him in the Fanate car. So uh, Gosku's had a bit of a moment. That's was the tail, but Project PD back up into second, and he's now wanting to chase after Buff Byron. Yeah, but it would be interesting if Fab Iceman is trying to get for a counter attack. Indeed. But currently, yeah, it seems like currently he doesn't have anything for him, so... Might be that he actually has to defend against Elodie again. Elodie is just about two seconds, but just under behind. So nothing to worry yeah, about for Fabi just yet. Uh, Elodie, I think, is then also getting pressure from today, so... Yeah, Manu is uh, closing in on Elodie a bit. The amount of times are 37.5 for Pirate, 38 for, for Project PD, 40.0 for Fab Iceman, 39.5 for Eladir, 38.9 for Manu as Night Tiger now brings his car in. That's slightly unusual angle, but uh, yeah, that, does, that uh, alignment doesn't look good. And uh, once yeah. again, that's that's another discarded front wing. That's a shame. Night Tiger had such a great run last time around, and the tire change as well. Taoji is chasing Gosku, so that thing going on there with Stokeman on the back and catch a glimpse now. So with that pack dispersing, I think through 
mistakes and misadventures. Stokeman then trying to get back in or trying to get further within the top 10, but Puff Pirate has had no challenge at all looking on the map. That's what the gap looks like visually. That's eight seconds between Project PB and Puff Pirate now. So yeah, he's uh, really pressing on. He's leaving nothing to chance. Uh, he's faster still on this lap. Yeah, I mean, he, he, he definitely wants the, the two extra points for the fastest lap. I mean, if he doesn't take them, actually P uh, PT is, is, is fine with finishing P6. Mm. But with Puffy having the perfect race, PT has to finish P5. But yeah, I, I don't want to jinx, but if it stays like now, PT is our champion. But there's still a long race to go. We have, we still have about 20 laps to go. So indeed, 22 laps, so 21 laps to go. So a long way yet. The, the uh, pit stop strategy still has a part to play. We will see then how well our guys cut through the traffic. We have lost one already, and I'm not very good at identifying who it is we've lost. Nope. I think it's probably the sausage. You'll be right, it is indeed City Sausage, our second uh, white branded car. Man, who really is closing in on the nerd here. Our top two get all oh, a big snap of oversteer there. But uh, not deterred by that coming out of turn seven through eight. Man, who really is pushing hard. Our top two only uh, 137, 137.1 for Puff Pirate, 137.4 for Project PD. So Puff Pirate is still pulling away up there at the front. And look at this, this is uh, Manu on the back of Elodir. And Fab Iceman's not too far ahead. There he is in the Tesmo car. Oh, Vandenberg's actually on a similar pace to Manu. So, uh, and actually um, Jet. Jet Piss was only a couple of seconds behind. So there's a potential battle forming. Or a potential big battle forming here as Elodir now has a lot of defensive work to do from the Denverville car of Manu. Coming through 13 into 14 once again. Only fuel on these cars, so uh, no one thinking about an early pit stop unless those have got damage and had to do so. Oh, and out of there, a pretty bad run from 14. There's Manu right on his case. And then again, Manu not quite able to do anything about it just yet. He's a good exit from here. And they're defending very, very early. Manny is gaining, but is he gaining quick enough? Elodir is returning to the racing line. Manny is going to try an outside manoeuvre. Elodir is sticking to the inside line instead. Oh, and Manny had the momentum and couldn't quite utilise it as much as he would like. No extra space there, but Elodir was really struggling to keep Manny behind him. Yeah, very interesting to see that Elodir didn't return to the outside there to get a better move. But it seems like it worked. But now Manu has a little bit of a run. But he stays behind him for the banked corner now, coming, to, coming then to the long straightaway. So that I think should be a better shot for Manu now. Coming through the slipstream. He's getting closer, but not sure if he's going for. Oh, he's going for the outside move. Trying it around, around the outside. Yeah, very difficult here. Or for the next one would be a left hander. Well defended there by Elodie. He parked that one right perfectly on the apex of 10. So uh, Manu locks up a little bit into 12. Couldn't get the cutback he needed. But uh, has stayed right with Elodie. The Sheriff is not able to shake off the Denverville just yet. Again, Puff Pirate and Project PD just in a complete league of their own. The only guys. And Puff Pirate just got into the 36s now. So uh, he's still he's extending that cap by quite some way. It's nearly 10 seconds now. But even still, the uh, gap in seconds doesn't earn you more points, so he's still relying on uh, Project PD to have a misadventure. <coughs> Manu is staying with Elodir still. A little bit too far back to try and move this time. He's going to want to gain that momentum. Maybe he's going to think about turn uh, 6 or 7, which is where Project PD... Oh, PD's in trouble! PD's in trouble, he's lost a second! He's just suddenly lost a whole bucket load of time. He's pushed a little bit too hard, somewhere around turns three, four, and five. Fab Eisman's gone past him. That's out there, and Fab and uh, Manu right with him. I don't think he hit anything. He doesn't appear to be struggling to keep the car in a straight line. Oh, but he's really trying to press hard. He may be a little overdriving the car a bit. So uh, Project BD's really feeling the pressure. 
Whoa, that was again a scam. He's definitely scaring us a lot on his <laughs> But, uh, yeah, he's, he's still fine, but yeah, probably he was just or pushing it, maybe, maybe hitting a curb too hard and he was just doing a, a 360 probably. But now, Manu again, right? Oh! The bumper of LOD and LOD was going too hard over the curb, which gave the perfect opportunity and. Oh, oh no! That, that, that was a block pass. So, I mean, I, I'm more of the two wheel guy. And then uh, in motocross, that is uh, quite the usual move, but with open wheelers, yeah, it's not recommended to do that. Yeah, so. Uh Manu has gone past and the LOD did indeed allow him through as LOD just completely locked up and took Manu with him. And so whether there's any damage on the car, as uh, we discovered last time, they are very, very delicate, these things. Manu then has a jet, jet pistol right up now into fourth. So he's been kind of minding his own business. And there you go, you can see on the lap times how much time Project PD lost. That was a good, oh wow, goodness me, about five, eight seconds he lost in that one mistake he can't be affording to do too many of those he doesn't look like he's he's about one and a half down from, from fab ice man at the moment so unless he actually incurred damage on that car he should be able to close the fab ice man in but of course he's now gonna have to work to get past him once again it's about four and a half between project pd and jet pistol so not under immediate pressure there but manu is hanging on to the back of that white car again that mistake with LOD did cost him a few seconds but nothing too drastic yeah. and and sorry to interrupt you there Silas uh, I'm already saying silly sausage to you King Kodiak uh, as we are now with the picture on Manu we just got information from silly sausage in the chat that Manu apparently has some engine damage from that mock pass so oh. it'll be interesting how that plays out oh dear oh dear Manu's really well, he's doing very well to deal with it if that's the case, he's staying right with Jet Pistol. <coughs> so we'll see then if that is really holding low, it kind of depends on where the damage is and how bad it is. It certainly doesn't seem to be doing too much against against uh, Manu at the moment, just keeping an eye on the lap time of Project PD to see how he's doing. As Iceman comes over the line, 37-8, great lap time for him, and 38-0, so is Project PD sporting a problem in that car? I mean, that's still impressive for the lap time, but it's not quite where he's has been, 38-8, but man, it's, it's, if he is sporting suspension damage, it's not slowing him down too much, really piling the pressure on the jet pit at the moment, Elodie is behind Battenberg now, so... If Manu's got damage, I think it's fair to say Elodis certainly does have a similar level of damage as well. He's going to struggle behind Vandenberg. Perhaps Gosko has brought his car in. That car looks a little bit more straight than some of the ones we've had in the past. And has a front wing as well. So uh, a far more straightforward pit stop then for Gosko. A little bit more planned. Uh, not quite on the halfway mark, but not too far away from it. Puff Pirate leading the way by 16 and a half seconds over Fab Iceman. Project PD in third. He's got uh, about 10 seconds in hand between himself and sixth. He cannot fall to that. And the way Puff Pirate's going, I don't think it's going to be too much to think that Puff Pirate's going to have the fastest lap at this rate. So, still some in hand for Project PD if he does have a problem. Yeah, but currently it looks really good for him, hopeful, and it doesn't really seem that he has a problem. I mean, he is still right on the pace with 38 flat the last time around. Mm. I mean, uh, yeah, seeing it that after a spin, I mean, you probably need one, two, three laps to get back into the groove. Oh, he's in. Stick like that. And with PD coming to the pit, so PD is doing a pretty early stop for four new Michelin tires and a splash of fuel. Mm. So maybe there is some slight damage on the car from Could this be. excursion. So, uh, Jet Pistol and Manu continue. Jet Pistol, Jet Pistol, Pistol 37.7. Let's just have a look at, at PD. Does he stay in there for a long period of time? He's got fuel on board. That wasn't particularly long, so if he did have damage, it was exceedingly minor. So, yeah, yeah. like you say, it looks like you just hadn't quite got back into his rhythm. But, of course, he's going to put him down into quite a bit of traffic. That could hold him up. We will see. It just depends. There's so many ifs and buts and maybes going on. It's, uh, it's pretty hard to tell at the moment. Yeah, man is still working on that back of chest jet pistol. Still didn't 
get the drum, but yeah, with, it's getting very hard with engine damage. I mean, depends how much it is and how much it is affecting, especially his top speed. Yeah, but currently, it doesn't look too bad. Indeed. There in the background, you can see, I think it's Kerbis now. Nope, wrong D-Box car. Uh, Project PD, might have been the one we were seeing. He presses on, that's through turn 9. This has come. So, of course, Manu is going to have to have that. Well, he could opt. I think he could opt to uh, keep hold of the damage if he feels it is not holding him back too much. Lap times aren't too bad. So, uh, Puffy has continued well and truly. He is absolutely gone. Fat Iceman hasn't come in. And Jet Pistol, where is he? He's just come out of that last turn. So, Jet Pistol and Manu. Also, option to continue, Battenberg and Elodir. Elodir is really struggling with that car now. He has lost yeah. a lot of time there in the second chair, if it's it. Yeah, I think it seems like the others will at least continue, I think, to lap 14, 15, maybe mm. 16. Oh. At least, concerning the amount, amount of fuel they still have. And catch a glimpse, is in the pits? Yep. I saw those two changing over, I was trying to catch Catagrims, uh, but that was why he was on the inside taking the pit lane entry. That's one less car that uh, Project Pini has to deal with. There he is, of course, uh, doing a 210 as his out lap. Presses on, Elodie is fallen off the back of uh, Vattenberg now. Manu is starting to struggle to keep up with Jet Pistol, so that damage is beginning to get the better of him. That fire will be in either this time or next time. He's only got five liters. He's not coming in this time. So he will be looking to... He's going to be running the tank fairly low, but let's hope his Pinku don't forget to put fuel in. That's Gosku just already ahead of it. It is. That's 13 plates Gosku, but of course uh, Puffy will be in very, very soon. Yeah, probably just lap around. Don't think he's making another one. Yeah, Fat Bias I think has enough. Yeah. You have, it's it's close with eight leaders. Yeah, but it should be enough. Jet Pistol has enough for a couple of laps, but of course he has a uh, charging Denverville right with him. He's got a he's got a lighter tank, and Battenberg has brought the Panasonic again. A uh, fairly scheduled stop, I would imagine. Oh man, he's very very close. Jet Pistol having to defend, and Ashnoom is in. This will be what uh, Project PD is hoping for, that everybody ahead of him just gets out of the way due to having to do their pit stops. Yeah, but uh, coming down to turn one, you could really see how strong Chad Bissell is on the brakes. He actually kept, uh, I, know, I think, by so yeah, one or two car lengths there. Wow. I love the braking zone, and now he's really taking off. Project PD is now up to seventh place at 38-1 for him last time, so he is getting back into his rhythm, getting right back on the pace. But if PD, uh, sorry, Buffer only has a two litres of fuel in, he has to come in this time. He will retain, or he, if he doesn't, so if that Iceman doesn't come in this time, he'll actually be pushing the tank very, very close. So, uh, yeah, yeah, definitely. Half Pirate is in, going for four new Michelin tires and a splash of fuel. Let's see what Iceman does. He could opt to lead, and he's been risking it. He is at. Oh no, oh, he is coming at the boss of very late <laughs> position. <laughs> yeah, so he's opting to come in. Oh, Jet Pistol getting very, very squirrely. Manu has to come in this time. He only has a meter on board, and there he comes. So Manu bringing. Oh, wow, that's uh, getting a little bit close to the uh, pin wall there. So Jet Pistol will actually lead, because Puffer uh, hasn't. Come out of the pit here. There you go, Jet Pistol is actually leading the race in, an, in the unmarked guest livery. The crowd are happy about that. <laughs> yeah, but, but, but very, very impressive, uh, impressive to see. So everybody third to seventh. It will be now interesting. Where is PT? in relation to Fabasman. Is Fabasman coming out in front of him or not? Oh, that's going to be close. Right away, that's going to be close into turn one. Oh, well, that is very close. And Fabasman has managed to hang on to that third place. 
Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm not oh. sure. Are they, leaving, are they leaving the pits with warm or cold tires? Because uh, that they'll will be, be now. They'll be warmed up, but of course, okay, yeah, it, so it's all going to be about gonna... rhythm. PD will be in that rhythm. You'll already know where his ideal braking spots are. Stokeman is in. Uh, oh, sorry, Stokeman is coming back out of the pits. Oh, Roger Media having a look at the inside, coming through nine. But uh, Fab Iceman shut that door. Manu is nine seconds behind this particular battle, so uh, Manu was really held up in the pits there. So they're now on the long straight. He's very close, but still not going for it. Uh, again, he knows he doesn't have to. We're in the final nine laps of the race. He knows he doesn't have to do anything silly. And the okay. race leader, Jet Pistol, does indeed bring his car in. It's not really a but surprise. If, but if if PD is, is is getting second place, because that would definitely help Elodie in the battle for third position, because there it's also quite close between I think Elodie, Miyagi, Unstoppable, yeah. and and Fab Iceman. I mean, uh, Unstoppable unfortunately mm. having very bad races this time around, and Miyagi not being here. Mm. But that yeah. battle is still on. There is unstoppable. He's actually battling Stokeman for ninth position at the moment. Pep Parrot returns to the lead. Fab Iceman in second, but he's got Project PD right on his tail into turn one. The Tesla car hanging on to that one and quite a long way ahead of Manu. Who actually, Jet comes out in fourth. Oh no, Manu's going to beat him to that just about. But that battle then resumes between Manu and Jet Pistol. Yeah, that will be very interesting, see, but. Maybe Jet Pistol was a little, little bit too easy on going into the pits, or maybe just did take too much fuel. But yeah, now is Project PD being run now down on the second straight? Yes, a little bit far away for my liking. And probably for Project PD's liking too. Yeah. Uh, he doesn't think about it into turn 10 again, a little bit too far back. He's trying oh. to get a very early apex, but uh, Bad Iceman's having none of that. That was a little bit of a, a sign of the Thunderfoot from Fab <laughs> A little bit of a slide going out of 10. Yeah, <laughs> through 12. And PD is keeping the pressure on, but knows he doesn't have to make the pass. He's got himself, what, 16 seconds, give or take, between himself and that dreaded sixth position that he must not be in. But again, keeping a very very clean, although having a look at the inside. Oh, that was close between himself and Iceman once again. He was still like the wind, but he's now 18 seconds off the back of that back. That's why doing everything he possibly can to make Project PD work for this. Streaming on down to turn one again. But I think an outside maneuver around Fab Iceman. And that again does not come off. We, last time Project PD managed to nail. Uh, Fab Iceman through this particular section. Let's see if he does it again. Less than two tenths between the two. Project PD nearly pushing the test brake car along. Now into six and seven. He's going to think about an inside move, but no, he doesn't commit to that. It's very, very risky to try and move there and catch a big old slide on coming out of that seven. And the Project PD remains behind that test brake car. But Pity looks very racing for the first sector. It seems like this car is. Also very good and dirty, yeah. Mm. Now normally people are really struggling, especially in the first sector. He's having a look, but he's still backing off. Maybe now trying the over under. But still no, I mean he's, he still stays behind. Now again a little bit more of the gap going into 12, so there is more wheels on the attack. I mean may, may, maybe he's just yeah trying to push Fab Iceman. <laughs> Maybe trying to push him into a mistake so that he doesn't really have to risk anything and still gets P2. Well, indeed. I mean, P3 would be enough. And he's very cautious. He's very, very cautious on that particular on that particular apex of 14, unless he just opts to take a very tight line to get a decent issue for 15. It's very nip and tuck between Iceman and uh, PD at the moment. 38, 8, 39, 0. PD can't push as much as he would like with so, <laughs> that card already ahead of him. Not as close as he was last time around, but keeping the pressure on. Round 
the Twisties M4, 5 and 6. PD just falling a little bit off the back of Iceman, but not far enough for that Tesla car to relax. And oh, it's very close coming from 7. Oh, big twitch of Overseer as he came off the exit of 7. Through 8. Around the bank, 10 of 9. And wow, Fab Iceman had a great run through there as giving himself over half a second's breathing space between himself and Project PD, that will be enough to protect himself from the impending attack. In the background you saw Manu and Jet Pistol, they have spread apart a little bit, there's a couple of seconds between those two, so Manu not under immediate pressure, in a comfortable fourth at the moment, and a risk looking away, Stokeman on the back of Unstoppable Paul, that battle has been going on for a while, although Stokeman was ahead of Unstoppable last time we looked, so Unstoppable up to ninth, but still the battle for the second continues. Yeah, and PD is still not able to get by, I mean, he looks much stronger in my opinion, in, especially at the turn-in phase of the, of the corners, who's always getting quite close to the rear of the Iceman turning into the corners and on the hard braking sounds, but it's it's not enough to finish the overtake off. Nine laps to go of season five of these Formula Renault 3.5s. Oh, well, we need going for a much earlier apex than uh, that Iceman there. Really keeping that pressure well and truly on and oh, well, dear on Battenberg. The second chair of the car now fighting one of the Panasonics. They are close. Around 1.2 seconds between them. That's a battle for six. So Elodie has been closing in a few tenths. Closed in about two and a half tenths last time around. So that battle is one to keep an eye on as well. Still four tenths between Project PD and Five Eyes Man. Battle for second. Absolutely untouchable on pace. Puff Pirate is now 20 seconds ahead of these two. So uh, absolutely nothing other than a mistake is going to slow down the lead chair for the car. I mean, I mean, at least Puffy can't say like he hasn't done everything. Very to try true. It. He, he, even tried, uh, he even tried looking at the moon for a while. To see if any yeah. inspiration comes from there. <laughs> he, he, oh! he, he had a look if there are some bonus points on the room, but unfortunately <laughs> not. But the PD flows in a bit on Fab Iceman. Fab going a bit deep on 14, but not, a bit, not able really to utilize that. Oh, a bit deep into 16 for PD. But uh, able to keep that on the straight and narrow. Not much between them both, getting the 38 threes. So keeping at pace. Keeping a very, very strong pace. Oh, now it's close. But yeah. still no place to overtake there, unfortunately. Indeed, Elodie is reading in Battenberg. That's now less than a second. About eight and a bit tenth between those two. Getting another four cents last time around. So Elodie looking set to have a big old battle with the Panasonic car. He's still got eight laps to keep that battle going. Manu has broken away from Jet Pistol to about three seconds now. So, oh, has that idea had a problem? Because he's suddenly fallen a bit off the back of Battenberg. I think he had a bit of a bit of an issue in the early corner, so he's now got to chase down the Panasonic. And there's me saying he's going to have a battle. Oh, and Project PD getting very close in the breaking zone of 10. Fab Iceman doing a great job. You kind of get the feeling that Project PD is just thinking about bringing the car home, but he's still thinking about that second position rather than third. Yeah, I'll fall. I mean, I'm, I'm still not sure if he really wants to overtake. I mean, <laughs> just, just, it just seems like he is trying to pressure him into a mistake, but yeah, as I said, not trying to risk too much. And I mean, it's definitely, I mean, it's definitely uh, entertaining to watch. Certainly, but it is risky. I mean, if Fab Iceman yeah. makes a mistake and collects Project PD in the process, that could completely throw the championship away. On to lap 21. Seven laps to go. Oh, that gets so close. It's just the different lines they use. Project PD goes from very early apex into turn one, whereas Fab Iceman goes for the wider entry for the faster exit. 
but it does bring those two very perilously close. It does sort of seem like Project Beauty goes a little bit too deep, will end up collecting Fab Man. Yeah, I think we talked about that already at Catalonia that the two have a very that the two have very different driving styles. Yes. Fab Iceman being a little bit more the aggressive guy and and, uh, and normally Project E very, very tidy maneuvers and going for a very, very fine line, but yet this time it seems like he is really pushing. And he's trying it around the outside. Now on the inside for the left hander. Oh, close a little bit of a wiggle from from Fab Iceman who has now the inside again. Is he going for the dive? Yes, he does, but he gets a lot of speed around the outside. And now he has the advantage with the inside for turns 13 and 14. Yes. And it is a job done then for it is. Project PD. I mean, he really forced. Yeah. He, uh, Fab Asman did rather bail on that at turn 11. He got very squeaky. He tried to hang on to that, but I think now that PD has managed to force that mistake, exactly as you've been saying, for quite a number left now he's got it i bet you he absolutely floors it to get away from that uh, test break card to prevent any kind of counter-attack to deny project pd that second spot now he's really going to press on he's got to be careful he's overdrive we've seen him make a mistake already in this race through doing exactly that so he's got to be careful five laps remaining and it is Slowly catching up again on Bamba. Three to four tenths every lap. He's got a second to close in. But uh, he's got some work to do to get that gap back down. He's got the time. He can't afford any further mistakes to try and get up into six. Now, Iceman is, as you would imagine, is falling off the back. Alpha David is already a second between himself and the and Project PD as he charges on to what could well be his championship. Hopefully that's not a commentator's curse. Yeah, hopefully not. I mean, <laughs> we talked already yes last week about it. That's I might I might curse might have cursed it already. But <laughs> yeah, oh. currently it looks good. But LED has made a mistake. That there's nothing happening. Yeah, LED making a mistake and Fab Iceman, yeah, struggling to keep up with Project PD. So Project PD is probably now dropping the hammer once again mm. yeah, I to show. To show him who's the boss in here. The kid will try and get that fastest lap as well, just to reassert his position at the top of the tree. So let's have a look as we enter the final stage then. Lap 23 of 27. Five, less than five laps to go now. This race has been led from the start by half fire then he leads this man by 24 seconds near enough Iceman has been there or thereabouts in this race he is in third he's a couple of seconds off the back of PD now Manu finds himself a very lonely fourth he's had company by this man a great effort then by Jet Pistol in the unmarked car Vandenberg has had Elodie catch him a few times but Elodie keeps seemingly making a mistake and throwing that Gain time away, there he is in the second chair of his car. Now finds himself nearly three seconds down from Van Burke, so that was a big old mistake he's made to lose that time. Ashton in eighth position, unstoppable in ninth. He has broken away from Stokeman, who finds himself a lonely tenth. There's Tau in eleventh, catch a glint in twelfth. Goscu, two and a half seconds down from Catch. In 13th place, Night Tiger, what a shame his race has gone the way it has. Such a strong showing in the first race and finds himself 14th this time. And Cobus now right at the back in the 15th position. We lost City Sausage early on, but wow, nothing you can take away from Puff Power at this time. Yeah, very, very dominant moments. I think he's currently also on the fastest lap, although Project B is now getting closer with his lap times again mm. to 37.7 the last time around. I was 37.1 oh. on this lap, so he was actually a tenth quicker than Puffy. Oh, Bamba's made a mistake, as Eladir is now just jumped through into that sixth position. That was, as I was saying before, there's two and a half seconds there, but they're about between these two. Oh, as Bamba really slams into the back of the Sheriff Hitzer car. Battenberg and we get a look on the inside of 16. He has moved ahead, but does Elodie get a dip? Better drive? No, he doesn't. 
Oh wow, we have a battle on our hands for sixth position. Of course, they uh, drive on right into the sunlight. That's going to blind them somewhat. Yeah, but it shouldn't be too bad with that nice building. Uh, <laughs> yeah, being right, right in front of the sun, so. Well, what a way to see the season now. It's been most races of the season have been like this, where not necessarily someone running off into the distance, but just battling up and down the field. But uh, generally the same pair up front as it is this time. Uh, PD is some way behind Puff Power at the moment. He wants that fastest lap. He'd love to win. But he's uh, realised he's not really going to get that in the next three laps. Unless, of course, Puff Power makes a big mistake. 136.7 from the Sheriff Fitzakar. Anything you can do, I can do better, he is saying. And reclaims that fastest lap in style. Not stopping PD from pressing on though. And Elodie still on the back of Vandenberg. That gap has increased a little bit. Elodie's got to close down that Panasonic car again. 37 1 again from Project PD, but Puff Pirate finding another 4 tenths to the good out there in the lead. He is, he's got some back markers ahead of him, I think. Yeah, you can just about see. Let me tell you who that is. Is it Cobus now? Nope. Not Tiger Snow. Oh, Cobra oh, Snail's actually getting it. That's Stokeman has just gone through. So, uh, Cobra Snail's, Cobra Snail's day has not gone well. Oh, hello dear, running very wide on the exit of the final turn. He's lost four tenths on Bamberg that time, so he's not got many laps to close that down. But Puff Pirate, he's as you said uh, earlier, way for he's got two and a bit laps to go. He He's done everything he possibly can, but uh, Project PD just remained that one step ahead. Project PD. Now ne tw nearly 25 seconds down, but nearly six seconds ahead of Iceman. That gap has just absolutely exploded. Manu getting into the low 37, but 37 2. Stunning time there from the Denverville. As he presses on. Could try and close in on Ice Man, but I think you'd uh, have to rely on a mistake. And that's Gosco getting out of the way. Puff Pirate then on the penultimate lap. And Elodir and Battenberg still having their battle for sixth. But yeah, now with, with two, only two more laps to go, it's kind of like time to get sentimental. <laughs> because <laughs> the racing is nearly over. But yeah, crazy how much Project was taking off uh, and, and uh, heading away from Fair Beisman in those mm. few laps, getting a gap of nearly six seconds. Yeah, absolutely. But yeah, now El El Elodie is trying everything to get around Bettenberg to make a, yeah, a stronger claim on this P3 in the championship standings. Unfortunately, I don't have a life calculation for that because that's also quite close. But now, then now he's having a little bit of a look for the inside stays behind him so he has one more shot the next lap around here and oh. again a mistake i think yeah uh, that's that story over <laughs> once again elodie just making a one simple mistake that tail just got very lively and he's lost all that time to battenberg locks up then coming through seven Puff Pirate then comes around, turn 16 for the penultimate time, it is the final lap of, the, of round 7, the final lap of this race and the final lap of the season. The crowd once again on their feet, 37-1 for Puff Pirate. Project PD in the driver's seat for this championship. He is 7 seconds ahead of Iceman now. Just yeah, just has to keep it, I mean, he can pretty much just coast from there and still come home with it. But of course, he will press on nonetheless. A 36-9 from Project PD, but uh, Puff Pirate with that incredible 36-7 last time around. He's done everything he can, but alas, not enough this time. Oh, Cobra Snail's put his car in the pits. Oh dear. That's a oh, my, that, that, that's not how you want to end your season, but yeah. For Project PD, it will be probably now pure enjoyment for a final lap. So now mm -hmm. also Bettenberg and Elodie will see the white flag now. 
Just want to keep an eye on where Puff Barrett is. There he is coming through turn 12. For the final time, no one anywhere near him. Want to keep an eye on that as well. Gonna be brave to try and move through there. Seen it done already. He's a little bit too far back though. Six tenths between himself and Bamberg, so the Panasonic car hangs on for now. Around the final turn, then your winner in the feature race is the Sheriff Vitagar of Puff Pirate with a 36-5 at the end. But this man will be your champion. He's just got three more corners to go. I'm not sure he's, I'm not sure he's really pressing on too hard, but he is always is already in, in I think in celebration and relaxation mode and quite well deserved as well and there he is then your champion he's just hitting the brakes he's, he's smoking <laughs> the tyres and he's why not the tires. <laughs> he doesn't need him anymore brilliant stuff well done Project PD Buff Pirate gave it everything he had Fab Iceman takes the uh, last podium as well Manu is fourth Jet Pistol Slightly wanders over the line again, but so uh, it's gonna come home in the fifth place. A great healthy Oh, well, is he going for the dive? Uh, no, he isn't. Uh, I think he, oh, he lost the drive from the previous corner. Yeah. Bamber's just gonna hang on to six place. Oh, what might have been for Elliot here? There's one too many mistakes. There's Ashney crossing the line. He's gonna take eight. Unstoppable, wasn't far behind. In ninth place, there's Stokeman, so uh, 8, 9, and 10, not too far apart. There's Tao, I think Tao's the last one on the lead lap. Oops, slightly wide on the last corner. And that is, it was indeed, that is this season complete. Your final finishing positions, Puff Pirate first, with that fastest lap by four tenths of a second, 136.5 right at the end. Project PD, your new champion in second. Fab Iceman 3, Manu 4, Jet Pistol 5, Battenberg 6, LED 7, Ashley Mate, Unstoppable 9, Stokeman 10, Tau in 11, Cataclysm 12, Gosky 13, Night Tiger 14, Kobersnell 15. Although Kobersnell is actually deemed to have retired along with City Sausage. We lost Steve very early on as well. We actually lost him on the first lap, which is a great shame considering his pace. But what a way to finish the season! Yeah, and I think we should get right away the voice of our new crowned champion. Oh, of course. So let's get Project PD here into the booth. And there he is. Hello, champ. Hello. Congratulations, you are the champion. <laughs> yes. <laughs> How's it feel? I'm very, very good. Please tell me. Had I to overtake Fab Aceman to join the championship, or hadn't I? No, uh, P5 nope. would actually be enough. <laughs> oh, okay. I mean, that, that you must have been very nervous at the beginning of the race. I mean, when you started in fourth, what, what was running through your mind? I was very nervous. I mean, you say it, I hope there's nothing come on the green table because of my jump start. Um, yes, I was that nervous. I, I leave the clutch a bit too early, then step on the brake again, so everyone was chasing me, and I just thought, oh please, nobody hit me. <laughs> <laughs> and luckily nobody did. Props to all that guys who avoid me. Yeah, I mean, we, we, we talked about that. Uh, I mean, you probably need a very, very good diaper and endorser with that massive coat brown. I think it was in turn two in the first <laughs> lap with you going very sideways. I mean, we, we were a little bit shocked, but yeah, then. <laughs> I as <guess> well. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and we have one question. Uh, yeah, it was somewhere uh, early midway of the race. Uh, you lost again second position. What happened there? We didn't catch it. I don't know either. Um, I just come out of turn two, and suddenly my rear comes and overtake me. It never happens before. It never happens uh, later. I just don't know. But yeah, I lost there around, let's say, eight seconds, and Papa Eisman gets by me. I was very frustrated at that moment <laughs> because I don't know how, uh, which place I have to do to get a champion. I really thought, oh, hopefully, uh, Fabaisman don't 
um, yeah, don't is the man of the race and uh, yeah, make Puffy the championship as a gift. <laughs> <laughs> Well, very well deserved, Project PD. Brilliant stuff. Yeah, I would like to fight uh, against Fabrizman a few uh, races earlier, and uh, more like to to fight against Puffy in this race, like I fight against Fabrizman. I think that would be the ultimate, uh, yeah, finish of the season. Awesome. Well, congratulations. This championship is well and truly yours, very well deserved, brilliantly fought, and, and now the season is done, kick back and enjoy. Thank you, guys. Yeah, congratulations. <coughs> um, and he's gone. <laughs> and he's gone, yeah. So I think we should now get our run-up into the booth. Definitely. There, there he is. And there is the Puff Pirate. How are you feeling, sir? <laughs> yeah, mixed emotions, I guess. You, um, you def no one can say you didn't do everything you possibly could in that race. You were just in a league of one. <laughs> yeah, thank you. I mean, yeah, I, I, I did what I, what I could do, but um, yeah, after... I basically lost the race at the start of, of, of or the championship at the start of race one. And just completely messed up the start. Like I had extreme wheel spin, and I was just in a position I shouldn't have been. But I mean, heads off to to uh, Project PD. It's just like uh, he's just like a fucking gentleman. <laughs> <laughs> it's uh, it's amazing, like that he that he basically kept it open till the the last round. That's Really deserved champion. Yeah, I mean, how mu how many times were you looking at his name, thinking something like "fall off, crash, go away"? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, I did a few times. Well, not <laughs> in, um, I tried to focus on my race because every time um, I saw, or I looked behind, I lost a bit of focus, and I thought like I can't influence anyway. Hmm. Um, I just try to to um, do my thing and. And nail fastest laps because I had to push like to the till the last lap because I um, needed the fastest lap too in any case. <sighs> hey, you you achieved that. You you had or even though you got it on the very final lap, you had already got it by your previous <laughs> fastest. I must ask one question though: Where in God's name did that pole lap come from? That was stunning. I mean, what was it like being possessed by the spirit of Edmund Senna? <laughs> Yeah, maybe maybe they shouldn't make me angry. It obviously works. <laughs> <laughs> I, I mean, I mean, I, mean uh, I said it already the last time on the broadcast, but I can say it now again to you. I mean, in German, we have the saying "Dicke Hals macht schnell," and it seems like <laughs> that was definitely yeah. uh, the point there with your pole lap. I mean, yeah, it was it was hard to get focus back. Like, I was pretty devastated. Um, but then, yeah, I was actually not watching the the. The stream, I was sorry. <laughs> I, was I would hope not when he was racing. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I tried to calm myself down, and then Cluck was like uh, telling me on WhatsApp, like, PD retired. I was like, You're joking. <laughs> um, I had to claw myself back up again to, 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 um, yeah, yeah, to do it all over yeah. again. Yeah. I mean, he deserved the title. Like he put in so much effort, and he's like he's been there for three seasons now. Uh, he's, he's been unlucky last season, so I'm 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 not mad. Only disappointed. <laughs> 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 I, it is a great effort there, Puff Barrett's, uh, and I look forward to the next season, as I oh, have yeah. no doubt yeah. that you guys will be crossing swords again. That's <laughs> all. I mean, what what we could do now is getting your teammate into here to have also an interview with the winning team. Yes. Championship. <laughs> yeah, let's get Elodie into here. And there he is. Hello, Elodie. Oh, hello. <laughs> <laughs> Surprise. So yeah, we now also talk to the. To, now we also have the winning team in full strength in here. We are the champions, Elodie. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Did you make it? 
Uh, I think you made it for a race already, but yay! <laughs> no, I mean, if you made it for the overall in the driver's championship, I don't think so. Nah, the oh. PD made it by, I don't know, it, it must be tight, but it, it was oh. enough for him. Yeah. So, Puffy, yeah. You, you have the consolation prize then, Puffy. <laughs> <laughs> it's something. I, think we, <laughs> <laughs> I guess we also won the, the cross split team championship, which is nice. I think so. Yeah, we should. Yeah, I don't have the calculations on top of my head, but I think you should. Actually. Yeah, yeah we, 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 we should. But nice. it's. Is there yeah. any information about the fight with E3 with Night Tiger Paul and me? Unfortunately, sure. I don't have life calculation for that, but uh, we can quickly have a check on that. I'm not this... sure if I made it. That's where the money is. One result. It was a pretty close fight too, huh? I still don't know where my life came from. I <laughs> knew I could go below 37, and the second quality seemed to me like everyone was slower, besides Puffy. And then I just had a good laugh and like, wait, why am I, why am I P2? What's happening? <laughs> yeah, it was that was that was amazing to see. What was scary is it, it was still like eight tenths between between you guys. I mean, that was a stunning lap, Elodie, but but uh, Puff Pirate did go completely Super Saiyan and uh, yeah. <laughs> just just you know just turned the field to mush. But, so, uh, yeah, Elo Elodie. So now checking the table, I think it should have been enough. For you to clinch oh, P3, with 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 Miyagi not being here, Night Tiger and Unstoppable having yeah pretty bad nights and uh, yeah Fab Asman was too far back. If I'm really first, then I'm so happy. I, 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 ex my think you should have made it. Were like get maybe consistently right into the top ten in the races itself and maybe grab a top ten spot in the overall championship. I never imagined that this could be P3. Like, I never imagined that, but I only had two bad weekends with both American races. Like, I hate those tracks. <laughs> 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 Amazing season, mate. Amazing season. Yeah, also thanks to Puffy. Without his setups, I would have been like three seconds off. <laughs> <sighs> I hope where I can, and you steal me the points in Spa <laughs> and on the Nürburgring. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> nah, it's been it's it, it's not, it's not been my season. Like Nürburgring was not good. Like Spa I made a mistake, and yeah, what well, hasn't been my season? If I knew how it would end, then I would have let you through. But nah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. But yeah, yeah. Thanks for talking to us. I mean. We are already running a little bit out of time, so we have to end our little team champion right. interview here. But yeah, All thanks right. for talking to us. And thanks yeah, <laughs> yeah, thanks for having us. Uh, have a have a great evening celebrating the team championship. Mm -hmm. Yay! Thank you. So yeah, I think it's time for us to maybe shortly conclude what happened this season and then. I think so. What yeah, I mean, a, what a what a ride. Yeah, well, it was an awesome season. Yeah, it's a shame. I, I, a shame I missed a couple of them, but it's been yeah, absolutely it's amazing me. being in the commentary box with this. Yeah, and I mean, hope, hopefully the off season isn't too long, and we will get our cup back <laughs> as soon as possible with some new cars mm. that are still not known. So, will be interesting. How that shapes up also the silly season, who is driving with whom next <laughs> season. Yeah. So quite a lot of stuff happening here. So yeah, I think that's it for tonight. So big thanks for to Unstoppable and James L for yeah making us the intro and the intro graphics and mm. also great thanks to Andrex UK who I think stepped in one or two times in the commentary booth, if I remember correctly. He did indeed. So also Great thanks to him. Also thanks to the whole organization team. The staff is awesome. They are doing a lot of work. And yeah, from King Kodak and myself, the Wayfarer, your commentators, we had lots of fun commentating for you. And I think, yeah, it's nothing to add. So hopefully you have a great off season and we will see as many people as possible back for season six. 
that is to come.